Today, I'm going to show you how to use EasyPage to customize the web console that appears when a user accesses the Miniport E2 embedded device server on a serial device. EasyPage is part of the NetEasy technology suite that allows device manufacturers to easily add Ethernet capability to their serial devices. Now, why would you want to customize your web console? First, let's take a look at the standard Miniport E2 web console. It looks like this. As you can see, it's a very powerful web console with many different settings you can change. But if you were a serial device manufacturer, you might want to create a custom web console that you can present to your end user and customers. For example, let's say you were manufacturing an Acme card reader. You might want a web console that looks something more like this. It's got a customized Acme logo, and it allows the user to adjust the card reader settings along with the network settings. EasyPage allows you to do this. EasyPage includes Java libraries that let you build a web page, which includes Java commands you can send through the Miniport E2 to the serial device to adjust serial settings, or it can also allow you to adjust network settings. Here's how EasyPage would work. First, develop and create the web page that you want. And once you've developed the page, stick everything in one folder, including HTML files, graphic files, any jar files that you've created. Then you would use the EasyPage tool executable to pack that page into a file system using this command, EasyPage tool, make fs, the directory in which the files can be found, and the name of the file system you're crea creating, in this case, Acme. We've successfully packed the files. Now it's time to deploy this new custom web page onto the mini port. You have two options for deployment. You can either upload it directly to the device, or you can even create new firmware that includes a new web console and update your devices through firmware. The Easy Page tool can be used to do either of these things. For today, let's just update our new file system directly to a device using the update fs command. Now here, I've got the name of the file system to upload, and here, just the network address of the Miniport E2 itself. Let's go ahead and update this file system. And it looks like I've successfully updated the file system on this Miniport. Yep. It says, upload web image file success. Let's take a look at what the web configuration console would look like now if I were to access that Miniport E2. As you can see, the Miniport E2 is now displaying the custom Acme Card Reader web configuration page. So that's Easy Page. You can check out all the great features of NetEasy on the Moxa website, including a video tutorial on how to use Auto CFG. Thanks for watching.